It's not a rev. That's just the rev is just the name of the show. Chet. Chad is the evangelist. Chad is the evangelist. Yeah, c considering the show doesn't have an evangelist. Yeah, okay. And okay, then we've got uh, Mark over here. He's the he's the doc. We've got Lisa on the phone who was co just converted from uh, Judaism to... Uh, no, it's Judaism, Elisa. not Judaism. Elisa. It's Judaism. It's Elisa, actually. You know what, and Chad, yeah, you know what you have, Chad, you have, Chad, you have, you have brain freeze, Chad. You're up, you're upstate New York. You're way too cold. You're, you're, you know, you have, Chad, Chad has brain freeze. Syracuse, New York. Chad's from Rochester. The Rochester, Rochester New York. area. Are you kidding? Hey, listen, Mary Francis, did you did you did you hear that Tom Brady is actually backing Donald Trump? I think he deflated more than just air from those basketballs. I hate to tell you. All right. I think I think. Actually, it's my, it's my, <laughs> I know, it's my, it's my understanding that Buffalo is rising again. I mean, Buffalo is becoming an up and coming city, you know. Um, oh, no, I'm, I, I, I was talking specifically about, you know, the, the city itself, that it's on the rise. And for many years, I mean, Buffalo, it's like the number four city in, in New York State. But it's becoming extremely popular. Uh, they've got a lot of culture. They have a lot of sports. You got the, the Sabers and hockey. The only thing I think they're lacking is a basketball team, you know. And the way the Knicks, the way the Knicks have been playing, the way the Knicks have been playing, I'll I'll mm. I'll trade that. I'll give you the Knicks. You know, you could have the Knicks. You know, they're not going anywhere. It it, it was just. All New England. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, that means that you you look at the Yankees as the evil empire. You know, when my when my when my daughter Robin lived in Massachusetts, she used to wear her Bernie Williams her Bernie Williams T shirt. Do you know that it wasn't enough that little kids used to look at her and give her snide remarks, but the adults that would walk by would do the same thing. Okay, um, I have to honestly say that New York proper, meaning the five boroughs and Nassau and Suffolk County and Westchester County, you have such a varied selection here of sports fans. You know, you find more people who live in New York who root for other teams as opposed to strictly New York teams. Yet, if, like I said, Lee, you heard Mary Francis, she's in Rhode Island. She was born in Massachusetts, but the thing is, she's a big Pats fan, and she's probably a Red Sox fan. People in New Hampshire, people in New Hampshire and Vermont, they're all Red Sox fans, you know. Well, hey. I mean, we've... We, we feel bad for the Red Sox fans, don't we? Well, this year anyway, because they don't deserve to be in last place, but that's where they are. But I, but you see, by the same... You know every game. Mary, by the same... Win every game. Well, Mary but by, Francis, but you honestly, see, I don't care about baseball. You guys can have all the baseball you want. I know, I know Massachusetts is huge for baseball. But you see, by, by... Hey, Chad, you don't around. care about anything except for one thing, your family... And Jesus. Well, and, that's why we're keeping well, them talking about other things. No, 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 no. I care about football, man. 
I love football. I he love said sports. he's a Seahawks fan. I knew oh, by that. the way, Chad, I found I a problem. A we have just started broadcasting right now. So I what? am going to... Are you kidding me? Just a second. Well, so, listen. Oh, so, don't make me hang up the phone. No, I, I don't. I know. nerve enough to call you guys. No, 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 no I don't. You, you know up. why? Because don't hang up. This is this is this is fine. We have the four people right. who are the most important as far as this show is concerned are on the phone right now. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Now we're gonna. St- I'm gonna do a little uh, playing games here. What right. are you gonna do? Okay, guys. Uh, tell me. Uh, just be quiet for one second. This is a test. Chad is our number one fan. Welcome to the Coffee Club, broadcasting live from New York with your host, Felix, and co-host, Dr. Mark. So let's have a cup of coffee and enjoy the show. Well, you're not going to do There Is No Heaven, are you? Of course. Oh. There is no heaven. My boy. There is no hell. There is only this world. And it's, it's the worst quote I've ever heard. Action. And we do not know. In which of the two worlds we I are. I can prove that wrong. <laughs> That's wow. fine. We are now officially live. Right, Chad, this is show Woo! business. Come on, get yeah. with the program, will you? Come on, everybody party! Starting hey, a little... I got a coffee in front of me. Starting, Starting yeah, all right. Good to you, Mary Francis. Starting a little late, but we've, we've got on the line today... Uh, Mary Francis, is that the way you like to call Mary Francis, or just Mary? Well, yes, that was my God-given name, Mary Francis. My mother's married name, my father's name. I love that name. Yeah, I love that name. I married it. I married a French guy. Okay, forget the (laughs) other part. So, how do you like to be called? Well, we could call you Francois. Um, a friend, friend. No, all what's? All my friends call me Mary Francis. Okay, Mary Francis. You know why? Is because fine. that's just. I have a cousin, Elise Terry, and I've always called her Elise guys. Terry because that's like my sister is Lisa Ann. Some names just go together. First we and all, middle names just. Go, we also you know. just for you uh, for information, we also have Elise Elisa on the phone with us tonight. Woo, Elisa. Hi, Elisa. Ooh, 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 Hi. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, now don't doc. take Mary Francis. Don't take this the wrong way, but this is your first phone call, so you are a virginal phone call. All right, this is a very first, very, fir- very first time for you. You know. Oh, hey, and I didn't want to call because I really hate my dialect, so. That's yeah, why I, I didn't want to call. Oh, fine. We're just messing. We're just All messing right. with you. It's a you, you right. Mary you sound- Francis, you got to listen fine. to us. Felix and I are from New York. How much worse right. could it be How than that? How much worse could it be than what we sound like? I've heard myself, okay, and, and I, I don't like it. New York City I don't like the way I sound at all, okay. But it's I got to live with it. Yeah. That's it, you know. It's traditional. It's traditional. Well, you know, it, it is very traditional. We'll meet you in Manhattan on Toity Toit Street and Toit Avenue, you know. Toity Toit and Toit. Yeah. Hey. Toit. Uh, I've yeah. never been to the Apple City. You really should. I, think I drove by it once. You really should, Boston's and I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. In a pinch, people always say New Yorkers are cold, but in a pinch, all right, if you had to borrow somebody's cell phone, you know, I mean, for the most part, it used to be when cell phones first came out, they would say, is it a local call? You know. But now, cell phones call all over the place. Um, if you needed assistance, they would be here to help you. Okay? I really have to honestly say that. Uh, that's in your world, Mark. I doubt it. you got to be kidding me. You're bad-mouthing New York? I'm just saying, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, hey, can I, mean, I let's... tell you a funny story? Sure you can. Yeah, and you don't need permission. All you got to do is shout over us. That's all. All right. So I I go to fight a a traffic ticket, right? A traffic ticket from the Mass State Police pulled me over for aggressive lane change in tailgating. I saw the trooper and the guy in front of me 
puts his brake lights on. Mary Francis. No, let her finish. Let her finish. I, I know, but she's echoing, and it could be because her radio is on. No, mine's off. It's off? Who's who's echoing? I Chad, Chad, what are you smoking, now. Chad? Everybody now is. Chad, you're, are you hallucinating? You I'm not hallucinating, no. Okay. I, I, it's something to do with the Felix, then. Well, let's blame Felix. Blame me. a grandpa today, again. <laughs> so let's blame Felix. Go ahead. Fine, let's All right, so long story short, right? I walk in, I'm walking down the snow path to get into the courthouse to fight this ticket. And some creepy guy comes up to me and says, hey, lady, you got a cell phone? And I'm looking at him like, no, I don't. And I'm clutching my purse, and I walk up to the courthouse. And the, the guy at the courthouse says, do you have a cell phone? I'm like, yeah. He goes, well, you got to go lock it up in your car. The poor guy was trying to tell me something, and I'm thinking he wants to steal my cell phone. You're a very trusting soul. What could I tell you? Well, she's not very trusting. That's what I mean. Uh, I'm yeah. not trusting. I I'm thought using the guy New wanted York to sarcasm. My cell phone. He was just warning me, and I wouldn't even give him a time of day. That's just me. Wait, uh, well, that's our humanist. Did you learn anything from that? Yeah. Don't trust anybody anyway, right? Don't bring your cell phone to court. No. <laughs> Thank you. That was what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? They probably they probably do that because the the judges are worried about being recorded, you know, while your trial yeah, is probably. going on. So Anyways, I won the case and all is good. That's good. Well, I wanted to share something too. Can I share something with you guys today? Well, wait. Sure. I just want to tell I just want to tell Elisa that she should join in anytime because she's really being quiet. And I worry about that yeah, Lisa, you need to speak up because today. she's had she's had some you know bad luck over the summer and uh, you know we want to we want to put you in a good mood, Elisa. You know. I'm in a, I'm in a good mood. I'm I mean, good. heck, I'm you're tired. You're listening to my you voice. Know. You have to laugh. Come on. I mean, really. No, I'm just I'm just the past like week or two it's been exhausting. I mean. Well, well, you know why? Because go back to school. that's it. Samantha went back to school, so you're on school schedule now. Yeah, I get up at 4.30 in the morning now. I have to get ready, then I got to get her ready, then I got to walk her to school, then I come home, then by 2 o'clock I'm walking back to school, getting her, coming home, doing homework. Um, it's just, it's, it's crazy. My whole routine is like shot. And you know, yeah. my immune system now is breaking down, so. Well, that is not a good thing. Certainly with the cold weather coming yeah. on, you know, I mean, it will be soon, but that's not going to be a good thing. Yeah, well, I also, this was the, my shot week, so I took a shot two days ago, and, um, I, you know, you I feel you got shot? It. You mean you didn't panic at the I, needle? No, I someone did it for me. I didn't do it. Oh, myself. okay. Uh, no, I, I still haven't gotten to the point yet where. Uh, hey, I listen. Can, I have uh, to tell you. Inject myself. You talk about needles. My 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 wife was always is always in the medical field. She's a radiation therapist, and deathly afraid of needles. You're talking about a woman who has had root canal without Novocaine. She's had stitches. Without Novocaine, okay. Ouch. I mean, the uh, the plastic surgeon that that was stitching her up was cringing every time he was putting another another stitch in because she's there and she didn't have any Novocaine. You know, uh, she broke a few pencils, I think, but uh, no Novic. No, but the the reason I'm saying this is because I'm a diabetic and I have to check my numbers three four times a day. And those, those um, little needles that you use, they're very small, okay? I have to tell you, my wife, I had to drag her over to the table. She closed her eyes, and three times she said to me, okay, that's enough, that's enough, and I hadn't even started yet, okay? <laughs> I mean... You know, I had to do her blood sugar because she, the doctor wanted to know if, you know, what her, her, 
sugar cane was because she was extremely lethargic and tired. Okay.